Hi guys, so Rishi Sunak delivered an impromptu speech on Thursday in a vain attempt to calm the disquiet in his party. What he said started with just more of the same, how he was a child of immigrants and how the process needs to be firm but fair. He mentioned the drop in boat arrivals and what the government is doing with so-called legal migration. Then he moved on to the new legislation that he's trying to push through Parliament which would allow ministers to rule whether somebody is to be deported or not disapplying both international and domestic law. Have a listen. The Supreme Court were clear that they were making a judgment about Rwanda at a specific moment 18 months ago and that the problems could be remedied. Today we are confirming that they have been and that unequivocally Rwanda is a safe country. No, <laughs> it's up to the Supreme Court to decide whether uh, Rwanda is a safe country. You can't just say Rwanda is a safe country. You've been saying for some time that Rwanda was a safe country. So it's a safe country. We can send people there. The Supreme Court said, no, it's not safe. Now, he is correct when he said that they would need to look at it further in the future. But you need what has changed. Rishi Sunak has not presented any evidence of any change taking place in Rwanda that would deem it safe. He just said it's safe. Take his word for it. And today's bill also ends the merry-go-round of legal challenges that have blocked our policy for far too long. We simply cannot have a situation where our ability to control our borders and stop people taking perilous journeys across the channel is held up in endless litigation in our courts. So this bill gives Parliament the chance to put Rwanda's safety beyond question in the eyes of this country's law. Parliament is sovereign. It should be able to make decisions that cannot be undone in the courts. <sighs> Parliament creates laws, then they get tested in the courts to see if they're constitutional, if they're lawful. So it will have to be tested in the Supreme Court eventually, and maybe the European Court of Human Rights. Now, what Rishi Sunak is trying to do here is he's trying to suggest that we can ignore international organizations we can ignore british domestic law and we can rule on whether somebody is going to be deported to rwanda or not now what is this all about this of course is about internal conflict within the conservative party he called this press conference not for the press not for the public it's for his own mps to try and suggest to them you have to back this otherwise uh, i'm going to pull the rug from under you and I think what he's going to do, if, if this bill doesn't go through Parliament, later in this uh, press conference, he was suggesting that Labour need to back it. <laughs> Labour need to back it. You have a majority. If your MPs don't back it, you can't be blaming the Labour Party for not coming to your aid. You have to sort out the rebellion within your party. Now, if it does fail, if enough MPs rebel against it, because the, hard, the hardliners, the headbangers, the far right within his party want to remove the UK from the European Court of Human Rights. They want to disallow it. They want to leave the Council of Europe. That's, the, that's what they want to hear. And he's not, he's not talking about that. He sort of skirted around the issue later in the press conference, but uh, he didn't come out and say, we're going to leave the convention, disapply the convention. And that's what they want to hear. That's what the likes of Suella Braverman and Robert Jenrick want to hear. So Sonak isn't that crazy. But if he, if he loses the vote, it's probable that he will call a general election. Because he can't limp on for another year or another six months. It's likely he'll call an election. Now, a, an emergency election in winter will be an absolute disaster for the Conservatives. Because they've been hoping that, okay, we can have our general election in May... That would allow some of us to encourage some people to come out. We may be able to rally some support. But a winter election would be a nightmare. The last winter election, of course, was in 2019. It helped the Tories. Uh, but, but the main issue was getting Brexit done. But that's not on the table anymore. Labour have a 20-point lead at the moment. And if an election was called tomorrow, it would be a bloodbath for the Conservatives. But it seems Rishi Sunak has painted himself into that corner. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.